Thanks for tuning in to FBTV News. My name is Andrew Duncan. Congratulations to the four FPU students who were honored by being named to the Fall 2014 Northeast 10 Academic All-Conference Team for their respective sports. Senior Katie Swiderski and Aiden Garcia were named for volleyball, while Senior Gabriel Vieira and Junior Casey Pereira were both named for women's soccer. Now let's send it over to Caitlin with our weekly weather report. Hello, I'm Caitlin Lawler with this week's weather forecast. Tomorrow's forecast will be cloudy with a high temperature of 13 degrees and a low of negative 9 degrees. Saturday, expect more snowfall with a high degrees of 25 and a low temperature of 21 degrees, projected at night snowfalls. Sunday, expect a high temperature of 35 degrees and a low of 21 degrees with light AM snow. And this upcoming week, Monday will be a high temperature of 21 degrees and a low temperature of negative 7 degrees. Tuesday will be mostly sunny with a high temperature of 17 degrees and a low temperature of 8 degrees. Wednesday, a high temperature of 27 degrees and a low temperature of 11 degrees with 3 to 5 inches of snowfall. Tune in next week for your weekly coverage of Bridge, New Hampshire weather. I'm Caitlin Lawler, and that's all for the weather. Thanks, Caitlin. The Manchester Union leader recently came to campus to interview President Andrew Card regarding the changes he plans to implement for the university. The article appeared in the Sunday edition of the Union Leader, and features input from students here at FPU, including FPTV's very own Mike Black. For those interested in the new president's mission, the article can be found on the Union Leader's website. In national news, NBC News anchor and managing editor Brian Williams has been suspended for six months following his confession of lying about a war story. Williams recently admitted to having lied about an incident that occurred in Iraq in 2003, where he was allegedly in a helicopter that was forced down by rocket fire. The story has been refuted by military members who claim the helicopter in question was about an hour ahead of the helicopter Williams was in at the time. Williams has stated that he misremembered the incident. Now let's send it over to Claire with our weekly sports report. The women and men's basketball team doubleheader against Stonehill was one to watch. The women dominated the competition by beating women of Stonehill 81 to 71. The men fell in overtime with a final of 65 to 63. Men and women's basketball will be playing at Merrimack Saturday the 21st. Men's ice hockey also played against Stonehill at Stonehill lost 8-2 for their final season game. The women's hockey team will be competing against Massachusetts Boston on Friday the 20th. This has been Claire Dew with the Weekly Sports Report. Now over to the desk. Thanks, Claire. According to the New York City panel on climate change, the Big Apple could see a rise in sea levels by as much as six feet by the end of the century. This could seriously affect some of the low-lying areas of boroughs such as Staten Island, Brooklyn, and Queens. The panel also predicted a rise in average temperature of 8.8 .8 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as a tripling of the frequency of heat waves for the city by the 2080s. In federal news, on Wednesday the 11th, President Obama sent a formal request to Congress asking them to authorize the use of military force against the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, a.k.a. ISIS. Obama has stated that his three-year plan of action will focus on airstrikes and training local forces to fight ISIS, while avoiding putting U.S. boots on the ground. However, the plan is flexible and allows the President to deploy special operations forces if deemed necessary. Thanks again for tuning in to FBTV News. If you're interested in writing or appearing on camera, we film Thursdays at 5.30. Tune in next week for more national and lo local news. As always, I'm Andrew Duncan. Have a great night.